and welcome. Today we're looking at a question that's come up a couple of times about a key station and, well not mine in particular, but the key station and the transport controls on it and getting them to work. So, like a lot of other people that have this, I had trouble getting them to work. In fact, they would just play high notes. Go. So you can hear the keys work just fine, but these, they're supposed to do what they say, but instead they're playing notes and playing them very hard. So what I ended up doing was contacting, contacting, why is that such a hard word now? <laughs> so what I ended up doing was contacting tech support, uh, Sweet Care actually, from Sweetwater, their free uh, tech support service and I got some instructions for how to do this in Ableton Live which I'm going to show right now so we'll come in and we'll launch Ableton Live forgot to pin this to the taskbar okay alright so your first step is to go into your preferences, so you go option, a little bit closer. So you go options, and then preferences, or control comma, or command comma on a Mac probably. And then you come down here to, well right now it's on look and feel, you can change all that, but we're coming down to um, MIDI and sync. So if we, so if we uh, go over here, so on control surface, you want to change that to, well, well before you change the control surface, you come down here to uh, key station, and okay, we're going to go ahead and turn this, whoops, turn that off, to key station 61, because that's the one I have here, and then We'll also turn on remote, where it says remote. And then we'll come down to output and we'll turn that on. And also turn on the remote. So for both track and remote, you want to turn those on. Then you'll come up here, and where it says control surface, you'll select Mackie control. Because by default they're in Mackie mode. So. Let's see, we know the alphabet, so we'll just come all the way down. Mackie control. And then you will select input as um, key station port 2. Okay, and they say you can leave this output uh, empty. And then you'll come over here. Okay, it's saved the preferences. So I'm going to come over here to instruments and we're going to open uh, instrument pack and I'm going to pick a piano, probably the grand piano and there's a little bit of late latency, I'm not quite sure why but what you should see happen is when I push this record button it should start recording on me I'm going to swap out over here, okay Ah, I forgot the, the golden ticket. You have to restart Ableton, so go ahead and we'll not save that. We'll close it. And then, let's move it there. Uh, we'll open it up again. Oh, that's why there's latency, because I'm running, running two things on the same. Okay, one more thing I did want to change really quick is audio. I'm going to change it to ISO. And that way there's no latency and we're going to go and put this up to 96 and if you heard that pop that's because it just changed over okay now we'll come to instruments instrument pack piano and keys and grand piano oh and there it is no latency anymore okay so now when i hit uh when i hit record over here it'll start recording and then when I hit 
stop, it stops, and then we hit the arrows over here, and it goes back to the beginning, and we hit play. Okay, so that's working, and then the, the arrows here allow you to select multiple things, and that's the playhead. So you can see I'm going through the different tracks right now, and I guess that track has some effects or something on it. So back to our piano track. And so that is how you set up the uh, Key Station 61 to work with oh. Ableton. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, dear, <laughs> Now, I'm not sure how to get it to work with Reaper or Pro Tools, but I'll be looking into that next. But so far I'm liking what this is, uh, how this has turned out. There was a little bit of a hiccup. I actually worked so well that I said I'm going to import all my virtual instruments. And for better or worse, I have them installed in my program files menu. I mean, folder. And so when I selected that, um, Ableton just went through all my programs and <laughs> it didn't like that. It was throwing fatal errors left and right. And then it uh, it eventually locked up. Well, what happened is we had to go, so what I did was I quit the program, shut off the computer, and then came back and, well, it runs through VSTs on startup and went through all of them, all the errors, and then crashed. So I had to contact tech support and uh, learned that you have to delete the preferences. It was still remembering them after I actually uninstalled it several times. And but you have to delete the preferences file. So if anyone else has run into that, that's how you take care of that problem. And so, um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll have more videos later.